perfect, perfect, perfect. Hello, beautiful people. How are we doing? Another NBA 2K League video this time. So, of course, you know, I'm still learning most of the uh, inner workings of the 2K League. This year, they introduced something new and a lot there. OK, so let, let's start over. There's three trades that it happened. Well, there's multiple trades that happened, but they announced three official trades, three big trades, right? Uh, one of them not so big. One of them had is going to have the most impact, and the other one I think is the one that was like the the biggest packages uh, that could happen. So, uh, without going too deep into details, statistics, you know, we're not gonna look at stats or anything like that. Just pure first impressions off of these trades and in you know, who got traded, where they're going and where they're coming from. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at these. Some of them. So before I get into this, before we take a look at this first trade, the 2K League this year introduced the 3v3 series, which is being intertwined through the, the pro season with the actual teams. So each team... Now is not just trying to figure out, okay, who can we use to win a championship? Now they got to figure out, okay, what players are versatile enough to help us win the 5v5 championship and the 3v3 championship? Maybe some teams are even like, you know what? Which one of these trophies is going to be the bigger paycheck or which one's going to matter more? Uh, so next year... Going in the draft, everything's going to change, right? Like this year, the 3v3 and 5v5, everyone was there. The scouts, the teams, they're more geared towards that 5v5 mentality, I would think. Um, they were looking at 3v3 stuff, but now with the whole at or next draft, with this whole season being over and now playing through it and seeing how it works, I think they'll be a little bit more geared towards which one they prefer or a little bit better at being able to spot players that can play both. Because of the 3v3, there's a lot of trades happening, um, which is good for like the news portion, but it's really bad for the fan base, I think. Uh, because I, I just don't... When you are trying to bring in viewers from the outside... Just like traditional sports, they're more inclined to attach themselves to a team rather than a specific player. And in the 2K League, you got to get attached to players because you cannot get attached to teams because their teams keep changing. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at this first trade. All right, so the first one is, by the way, I do not like 3v3 in the Pro League at least. And second of or there should be like a separate time or league for it. And then also... It these these trade graphics are very confusing. I figured it out pretty easily, but at first glance, you're like, "What is happening?" And then other teams, other people are commenting on the the tweets as well, saying like, "This is confusing." Anyways, let's take the first one. All right, so the Hawks are going to trade Swan, and the Hornets are going to trade Nick. So the Hawks are getting Nick. The Hornets are getting Swan. These players are pretty evenly matched. No one's really had a breakout season. No one's really been eye-popping out of these two. Is it an even trade? I think it leans towards even. If you had to say who won this trade, I would probably say the Hornets off of Swan purely. But uh, I think that the Hawks and the Hornets are pretty even teams right now. Uh, the Hornets had a little... Little, little sunlight shine there for a second and the Hawks had theirs as well throughout the first half of the season so this one it's not really that important man like this trade right here okay cool great whatever moving on next one this is the one that's gonna have a lot of impact on some teams all right so again this is very confusing all right, so the Warriors trade Antone to the Cavs. 
right? <laughs> King's guard trade Mama I'm that man to the Warriors and one wild walnut to the Cavs and a 2023 third round pick to the Cavs I believe plus they will receive a 2023 first round pick from Cavs the Cavs are trading bash and Big Rim to Kings and a pick. All right, let's 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 talk about this. First off, right off the bat, uh, you go back to the most recent five v five tournament, the, and you go to the interview with Mama and Lavish. Both of them had separate interviews where they say they're glad to be on stage again, but most importantly, they're they're glad to be on stage with each other. You just broke that up again. I think that Mama and and Wild and Walnut, they play the best when they're together. I think Walnut still plays great. So does Mama. But I think Walnut is the better player if he's by himself without Mama. But I think that they are both at the top of their game when they're together. Uh, we saw that on Kingsguard. We saw that on Blazer 5 in the past. Antone, this is a decent pickup for the Cavs. I think that they're trying to just rebound and win as many games as possible. I don't think they're really thinking long term uh except for the fact that they might want to keep Walnut, right? Like that's a long term option. They're not really thinking 3v3. They're thinking we need to get better in 5v5. Warriors are thinking 3v3 and 5v5. Okay, Antone, solid player, but if we can bring in Mama, we can win games on both both uh 3v3 and 5v5, right? And Mama's a great point guard. Um I just don't understand how an MVP and a play two MVPs in Walnut as well can be moved around so much. Um, if it's not working, it's not working. But I think the one of the biggest problems in the league right now is the three v three and five v five are creating this. We got to keep trading. We got to keep changing things up. We can't really keep players together for that that chemistry. Uh, we go back to the Yusuf rumored trade that was supposed to happen, you know, a week or two ago. And it didn't happen because maybe the team realized, Hey, you know what? We just won. They have chemistry. They work very well. We just beat three of the four top teams in five v five. So we're not going to break this up, right? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, Kingsguard gaming, they get bash back. I think bash was on this team before. So, you know, he, he bash is, knows the organization and all of that knows what it takes to be a Kings guard gaming player. Bash is a good player. I think maybe just in play styles that don't really compliment him. but moving back to the Kings guard gaming, I think that'll work out for him. Big rim going to Kings guard gaming. I don't know. Big rim was on the Cavs. The Cavs freaking suck, man, but maybe this trade will help them get a little bit better. Not a playoff contender in my eyes. Uh, sorry, Walnut, because, you know, I want to see in the playoffs, but I don't see them being that great. I do see Warriors getting a little bit better. Not significantly. They were the number one seed. Um, and now, or they're the number one seed out of groups in the last tournament. Now they might move up a little bit more in the standings with Mom, I'm that man coming in. The biggest long run winner here is the Cavs, if they keep Walnut around and he starts to develop and play as good as he does anywhere else with the Cavs. The short-term winner, I think, is going to be the Warriors gaming squad because of Mama and what he can bring to the team right now. Uh, Kingsguard Gaming, they get Bash back. That's a win for them. Other than that, that's about it. Uh, the Kings do win in the picks department though, because they're going to get a 2023 first round pick from the Cavs and the Cavs freaking suck, man. So the, good for them. They're going to get a good pick out of that. Don't waste that pick. The next trade, which actually happened a few hours ago. Uh, well, like 14 hours ago, but still, you know, when you're on a crazy sleep schedule, <laughs> content creation. Um, all right. So this one, First off, this graphic is way confusing for people. All right, so we got a four-way trade. Duck's going to go to the Jazz. That's a good pickup. I think that 
The problem they had during the tip off was the fact that Jen was Jen just didn't show up, man. That's that's really what it was. I don't know if it was a chemistry problem. I don't know if it was nerves or something like that. I mean, Jen has been on the stage for a while um, or at this level, not necessarily on the actual stage playing. Uh, Splashy did great, but Splashy needs someone that can work with them. They're bringing in Duck. Duck has played point guard. Duck has played the two. Now they'll bring him in. He can kind of play both, and uh, you won't have to rely on Splashy as much. Is Duck as good as Splashy? Hell no, but still, it's a good pick. So bringing him in could be a good pickup for the Jazz. Jen will go to the Magic, and they'll also get Unguardable who came from Blazer 5. Unguardable, pretty decent player. Again, not one of those eye-popping ones. I think Jen is the better player compared to Unguardable, but this is a good duo pickup for the Magic Gaming. Again, Magic Gaming are kind of like in that spot the Cavs are in. You got to look towards the future right now. This season is over for you. Um, maybe you can win a tournament to get into the, the playoffs, but I don't think that's going to happen either. Uh, and then as well as in this trade, Big Rain is going to go to the Pacers gaming. Pacers, I give them credit again for making it out of groups in the tip-off or in the ticket, but or in the turn, excuse me, in the turn. Other than that, though, I've been saying the wrong tournament this whole time. Okay, well, the turn. Um, they all start with T, ticket, tip-off, turn. Uh, triple crown, the triple T. Um yeah, big rain going to the Pacers. I give the Pacers credit for making it out of the group that they were in because that was a tough group, but that's the only credit I'm going to give them. Big rain, I don't know if that's a big pickup for them. I think they gave up too much. I think giving up Duck, or I think giving up Lavish is a... That's a downgrade if you ask me. But Lavish going to Blazer 5. I believe he's played for this team before. And Mama even said in a tweet right there, you know, Lavish is a prime example of being a good player and a good person to an org, and it will always pay off in the long run. Always comes full circle. Lavish is going back, I believe, to Blazer 5. Good person uh, and good player, playing pretty decent. Nothing super eye-popping from any of these Blazer players. I think the best trade, the winner of this trade, is going to be Duck going to Jazz. I think the Jazz will get a little bit better with that, a little bit more consistently better uh lavish a win as well gets to go back to blazer five i believe and also blazer five is getting a solid player uh big rain i think is i don't really care about this trade um jen and unguardable going to the magic i think this is a good chain change of scenery for them but i don't know how that team's going to do with those two players but pacers also traded a second round pick and a third round pick the second round pick comes to will um i believe goes to blazer five and they will get i don't know how these picks work this is so confusing but th there was some picks that came out of this um they receive the third round pick from blazer gaming that's not going to be a great pick like if i'm the pacers the Cavs, the magic i'm going out for picks man Really good picks. They just gave up a second round pick and they get a third round pick from Blazer 5. That's that's not an even trade, man. And you give up Lavish. Yeah, Pacers Gaming. They got a uh a they they've got a blind person running that office right now. Second round pick from Blazer 5 and a third round pick from Blazer 5 will be traded away, and they'll get a first round pick. From Jazz Gaming and Pacers Gaming. The Jazz Gaming one might not be that high of a pick, but the Pacers Gaming one should be pretty high. That's a great pick. Yeah, Blazer 5. They they just highway robbed the Pacers. Anyways, that'll do it for this video. Let me know what you think about these trades in the comments below. Uh, and if you're here for 2K League videos, I thank you so much for coming. I know it's something that I haven't done on my channel before, so um, I was always a little nervous to do it because I didn't know if I had anyone who would watch them. But uh, for those few who do, I appreciate it. And I uh, hope that you come back and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, hello there. It's Blue. I'm a terrible dancer. So ignore that version of me on the screen and listen to my voice when I say, 
thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and of course, click on another video of mine. I heard you'll like those over there. They're pretty good.